this is a PowerWare Prestige 6000 series UPS. As the name implies, it's a 6000 VA model, which uh, is from the late 90s, I believe. The battery packs, one of them is stamped as having the batteries replaced for the first time in 2001. And uh, I got this thing for free uh, quite a few years back, and I since then gave it away once. And uh, I recently got it back because the person who I gave it to finished his use of it, which implies that he never got around to actually using it and just wanted to get rid of it again. And that's understandable because it was for the same reason that I gave it away, and that's that it runs on these stupid 60 cell 120 volts nominal battery packs, which are these huge cases that you load up with teeny 5 amp hour sealed dead acid batteries and then replace all 20 of them every couple of years. So, yeah. My hope with this unit is to modify it to run on a lower voltage, namely 96 volts. Somehow co coaxes it into doing that. I'm not entirely sure if I have any chance of succeeding because I remember this unit being rather high tech on the inside. But that's for another time. At the moment I just wanted to see if this thing still worked because I haven't touched it in several years. And I know it worked the last time I used it, but uh, I haven't had it around, so I've got to hook up my bench power supply uh, in what I believe to be the correct fashion. Positive going to the fat uh, red wire and negative going to the fat blue wire which hooks up to the fat black wire. Now there's a thin black wire which I believe is a mid-pack sensor to keep the, an eye on the battery pack, but I don't think uh, that's necessary for operation of the unit, so let's flick this on and see if it will do anything. Well actually I'm going to have a look inside of this electrical box to make sure nothing's shorted first. Nope, everything checks out, so let's flick the output on. and is drawing an insignificant amount of current. Okay. So when you press the power button, it slowly illuminates the LEDs and draws 120 milliamps. That's odd. I hope that little snapping noise wasn't something going broke. It definitely was, because I can smell the smoke. Oops. Uh, found the culprit right in there. I actually connected the battery pack up incorrectly, I noticed that too late. However, it only smells of burnt resistor. That thing doesn't look to be entirely destroyed, so I'm going to give it a brave go and hook the battery pack up correctly and then try again. Okay, second try. If this is ruined, I'm going to be very disappointed. Drawing 10 milliamps again. Better check for smoke. No, it doesn't seem to be smoking, and I just got it to click off camera by just holding that for a long time. Well, it's certainly drawing a lot of power. If 
going over a hundred watts, blowing out of all that lovely burnt resistor smell. I'm assuming nothing's on fire. Well, if it's just the old smell, I very much hope so. That's it, and seems to be running. Definitely not very efficient though. You certainly do get a feel for the cap size of the caps in this thing. If you turn the battery off, it just keeps on going. And those fans probably consume about 20 watts <laughs> together. And they run for what? 5 seconds after the battery is disconnected? I can assure you that the insides of this thing are rather hefty. I might do a teardown of it sometime, but that's for another video. Cheerio.